What's this thing? Oh, man, dude. That is awesome. the thrift yeah. store looking for toys yeah. more my name is Burf and this is my Woo. turf I'm straight out of the thrift yeah. store hey what's up it's your boy Burf and we're back for part two of the toy hunt toy haul review so last Friday I picked up these two big boxes at Thrift Giant, uh, two different locations. One was filled with uh, 13 Dragon Ball Z vintage, 1990s Dragon Ball Z figures, which was super epic, awesome, awesome score. And then the second box, which is what we're gonna open today, is filled with a bunch of what I believe to be really cool stuff, but maybe not quite that epic, right? So it seems to be filled with more like uh, a lot of small treasures. So we're gonna jump into that box today. We're gonna tear it apart and we're gonna pull out some real scores, some real awesome scores out of it. Uh, I got a good feeling about it. I'm excited. One of the things I love about these box openings of these boxes I find at thrift stores is that you just never know what's gonna be in the middle of them. I mean, there could be, for all I know, there could be vintage 1980s G.I. Joe figures in the middle of this box. We don't, we don't know until we open it. So I'm excited, I hope you're excited too. Let's get into it. All right, round two, round two. We're gonna open this bad boy. We're gonna dig through it. We're gonna see what's inside here. This is the other box that I found on my Friday toy hunt. And uh, I've already pulled a Godzilla out of this. He's not in here right now. I actually, oh, there he is. He's over there in the corner. You can see him on the corner of the box over there. Um, I'll make sure I show him at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dig through this. And again, you know, there's gonna be a lot of junk in here. And that'll all be stuff that gets donated back to Goodwill or Thrift Giant after I pull out all the stuff that I think is good. <laughs> but uh, there is bound to be some treasures in here too. All right. So let's take a look at these things first. What are they? Ah, is that like a flashlight? What is that? I might have to, it looks like it's... I don't know what that is. It looks like, oh yeah, there's some sort of battery that goes right here. I guess it is a flashlight. That's kind of awesome. We'll have to try that out later. We'll have to plug some batteries in it. And then also there's this Yoda. I guess he kind of does the same thing. These are, these are neat, neat little items. I've never seen these before. And I don't know if these were like, were these like something you could get at McDonald's or something? Oh no, Vader's mouth was stuck over there. Oh, yeah. Looks like his mouth gets stuck easily. <laughs> his big mouth. All right. So, and then we've got a Chewbacca. Man, these things are awesome. Super cool. All right, and then we've got this Pokemon figure. What's he do, is he? I don't know. He just kind of maybe just swivels around. Oh, he has, a, he has a little battery that he takes. I wonder what he does. I think I've got a, one of those little tiny circle batteries. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I, I bought some over at the Dollar Tree, the dollar store. So we'll have to plug those in later. What's this right here? Oh, it's like a, it's a dragon. That's cool. I like that. I like dragons. They're kind of my jam. Put these off to the side and, oh wow, look at this. It's a baby, like T-Rex or Velociraptor or something. It's made out of rubber. And uh, the head is made out of a hard plastic, but the egg is like a, like a rubber. That's really cool. Oh, look, we've got our first action figure, Iron Man. Iron Man, <laughs> that's Trojan Man, Trojan Man. <laughs> but uh, Iron Man, yeah, what a cool looking figure. Three and three quarter inch. And then we've got the 
Mutants, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I actually found him just laying on the shelf at Thrift Giant right next to this box. So I just picked him up and threw him in the box because he didn't have a price tag on him. So I'm assuming he was in this box and somebody took him out already, so. And then, uh, what's this? Oh, his hands are like on backwards. <laughs> what? Oh no, oh no, those are his knuckles. He's Knuckle Dragon. I don't know who this figure is, but he's pretty cool. Man, we're already finding some really cool stuff in here. Here's some sort of lemur. That might go good with some of my six inch figures just for uh, photo ops for my Instagram account, which if you're not following me on Inst Instagram, it's 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R-O-C. Let's get this giant grasshopper. Turn him off to the side. We've got the Kung Fu Panda. Here's a Pikachu. Oh. Plugs, plugs into something. I don't know what he plugs into, but we will find out eventually. Here's one of those cheap Dollar Tree ninjas. Some sort of octopi, octopus, the pussy. Let's see. These are all look like maybe like McDonald's toys. What's this thing? Oh man, dude. That is awesome. It's like Slash from Guns N' Roses. Wow. Oh, he's got the number 13 on the side of his hat. Oh, that is so, so freaking cool, man. Oh, it's like a paperweight or something. I'm gonna put it on the table back here. Um, this is like die cast metal. This, this could be worth something. It's heavy. Mm, something I guess you just put that on your thumb sort of thing. All right, there's a shark doing the same thing. Here we got a little baby Ronald McDonald using a hula hoop in his little, little life away. Okay, put him off to the side. Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Again, looks like a McDonald's toy. And then we've got Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks. We'll put, actually, we'll put these guys over here. Let's see, what's this? Oh, oh it's a spider. First, I, I thought it was an action figure at first. I thought I saw action figure legs, but like a Marvel character or something, but it's a big tarantula. That's cool. That could uh, actually maybe go up against my King Kong. It's kind of cool. All right. And then we've got this little miniature of Hamburglar. Man, there's lots of good stuff in here. You know, like with the other box with the anime, um, with the Dragon Ball Z figures, uh, there was 13 in there. Everything else was pretty much junk, but we're finding lots of really cool stuff in this box. Here's a Ronald McDonald figure. I don't have one of these, so these, this is cool. And then, I don't know who this kid is. Oh, like some sort of jelly on it or something like that. It's gross. All right, I'll have to clean this guy up. Um, there's a lion. Looks like he might be set him down like that. I don't know. And I don't know who this guy is either. Here's our California raisin that we saw in the original video. So I've got one other California raisin that I found in a thrift store. So, and he plays saxophone. So these guys will go good together. They can start a band. And let's see what else do I got in here. Here is uh, some sort of, almost like an Imagine Next type of figure, but he doesn't have any articulation in him. And we've got a Mickey Mouse walkie talkie. We've got a big ass, <laughs> big ass fans. That's a, that's what I am. I'm a fan of big asses. My wife's big ass. I love it. <laughs> All right. Um, this guy here. Cool. Uh, we got a, is he talk? Oh. Oh, my tail! Where's my tail? I'm 
holding on to it, bro. Oh, see, he comes with batteries. That's cool. All right, man. It's a nice little, nice little score. And here's a bobblehead Shaggy. All right, we'll put him off to the side too. Some sort of Jeremiah Bullfrog, maybe, from Looney Tunes. I don't know. He might be. What else? We got, we got a. Uh, Voltron figure, I guess. He looks like a bull. Nice little piece there. And a baby doll. Some sort of some sort of shark. It looks like he's got two hammers on his shoulders. Alright. This Lego keychain. Another big moth thing. Oh, look, it's like an intact Mr. Potato Head. Oh, this is probably from Toy Story. Ah, I bet you this is the Toy Story Potato Head because he doesn't, uh, none of these pieces actually come off. He's got a little tape on him up here. Gross. All right, that's cool. Man, what's this? We got some, got some glow sticks, man. Can't go wrong with glow sticks. We're gonna have a party tonight, a little rave at Casa del Berf. Ah, oh, check this out. It's a car, but it's a robot. I've never seen anything like that. That is, 1989 is what it says on the back of it. That is super cool. I wonder if it's supposed to have like little rubber wheels or whether it's supposed to be plastic like that. Man, look at that, that is awesome. So cool. Everything, I'm just like, oh, so cool, so cool, so cool. Oh, look at this. We've got Spock. It's a nice heavy metal, too. And here's a die cast car. Western Union is what it says on the side of it. All right. Some dinosaur bone figures. That's cool, too. All right. And here's a Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World, uh, like Matchbox car. Lots of smalls, lots of smalls. Oh, this isn't a small thing. What's this guy? Oh, wow. He's a statue. And let's see, uh, Playmates makes this. It's got a little articulation in his waist there, but that's pretty awesome. Totally big in that. And then there's another one of those frogs. So maybe that wasn't Jeremiah Bullfrog. Maybe it's just a different, uh, different frog in the line. And then what do we got here? The ultimate pocket pet. What year is this from? Oh, it's like all in Japanese or Chinese or something. That's cool. $15.99 originally? Wow. I like the artwork on it. It's pretty cool artwork. Lots of these little dinosaurs in here. Here's a, a woolly mammoth. All right. And man, where have I seen this dog before? Where have I seen this dog? Who is this dog? Does it say on the bottom? Uh, 1997. So we got a little vintage, a little 90s vintage here. Help me out with that, guys. Who is this dog? I've seen this dog somewhere. All right. And we got some minions. And we got Donald Duck. Some more of these... Uh, Highlanders, I think they're called, or Earthlanders. Or oh gosh, I, someone, I made the same mistake the other day when I was uh, trying to name them and then somebody in the comment corrected me, comment section corrected me and I can't remember. And actually, and actually, no, he's not one of those, one of those Highlanders or whatever they are. He's cool though. All right. And we've got a Triceratops. Another 
little Ronald McDonald and his tortoise. And this thing's neat looking. Oh, check that out. I like it. It's fun. Fun stuff. This crocodile thing. Corn cob. Oh, look, we got El Capitan Hook. I love the Peter Pan movie. And Captain Hook is awesome in it. All right, there we go. Oh, look, we got some little kid sunglasses. Those are fun. And then, uh, Hello Kitty, still in the McDonald's bag or whatever that is. Oh, what's this? Oh, you know what? I've got this guy already. I already have this dude. Again, he's like a, um, somebody, something fell out of him. What was <laughs> this, this little thing? But, uh, yeah, I've got this guy already. He's pretty cool, though. What else do we got? We got some other, like a Power Ranger. Let's see. There we go. Did the legs extend out? Oh, yeah, look at that. Check this out. Man, I don't want to break it. I'll have to mess with that later. I don't want to break it. But, like, his, uh, his legs do, sh do shoot out. So that's cool. And maybe that other thing that I thought was like a Voltron, maybe that is like some sort of like Power Ranger related thing. The world is all blue and rainbows. That was creepy. <laughs> we got some more Imagine Next stuff here. Somebody's weapon. And we've got an emer oh, emergency unicorn. I'm here to tell you how amazing you are. I do. Come frolic in the greenery. Come frolic in the greenery. That's that's cute. I think uh, Nico would like that. I'll put that off to the side. Oh, check that out. Nice Mack truck. Well, that's not a Mack truck. It's just a, it's a big rig. All right. Ah, we got a, another dragon. Sweet. What else have we got in here? We've got some Toy Story stuff. Lots of smalls. This is uh this might be like the Imagine Next version. Okay, we've got this polar bear vehicle. Oh, check out the yellow taxi. It says New York on it. It's diecast. I like die cast. I don't like the cheap plastic stuff. We got a mini, mini mouse here. Um, I don't remember this guy's name. He's from some kid's cartoon. Oh, Imagine Next. Spider Man. Sweet. All right. What else do we got? What else we got? Oh, look at this. Oh, it's missing its canopy. That's all right, though. Um, it's kind of. Well, the stickers are coming off too, but man, that is heavy, heavy die cast metal. Let's see what year. It's uh, made by uh, Maisto. Okay, we got a Captain Hook here. Lots of little dinosaurs, a soccer ball. Here's a Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Check it out. It's the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, but it's a monster truck. Let's see, we got a Donald Duck. Again, missing the canopy. Got a nice heavy die cast metal plane. Somebody's weapon. Muscle head SpongeBob SquarePants. Looks like it might have been like a keychain or something. It's like a K 
kid's cell phone. Toy cell phone. Uh, what's this here? Oh, look, it's Star Wars. Here we have a Star Wars figure that has no head. Maybe we'll find his head somewhere in the box. We've got an Angry Bird. We've got a Transformer here that doesn't transform. No articulation. Got, got more cell phones. Anyone want a cell phone? I got some, some black uh, uh, black market cell phones. I'll sell them to you real cheap. Uh, check her out. And I actually just got her in another box. Not a box, but a um, a bag over at Craptastic Sam's. I can't remember her name. Star Wars, though. All right. Well, I think kind of be the end of it. And there you have it, folks. We've concluded part two of my toy hunt, toy haul review. So we found some really cool things in this box. Um, and there's still some other stuff that are, I know I can probably piece together some other things. Like for example, like there's a bunch of these like little Shopkins in here as well. These things sell for like really decent, sell for decent money. There's a big collector's market out there for these Shopkins. And, and I know that because my wife started a Shopkins account uh, called Shopkins Love on Instagram. Oh, I guess back in 2012. And she grew it to like 50,000 followers and she was doing all these giveaways and shipping toys all over the world. She'd buy these Shopkins and just do these big giveaways like several times a month. Um, it was really cool. And anyway, long story short, I know little, there's a bunch of little things in here like that that I can probably piece together and then bundle up and sell them on eBay as a, as a part of a collection. So, but hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you're always first to be notified of the next episode. Also like and comment on this video. Let me know what was in the box that you liked best specifically. Finally, last but certainly not least, give me a follow on Instagram for some epic toy photography at 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R-O-C. In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.